Hello everybody, my name is Kern and I get a lot of products here to review and demo and a lot of them make me very happy but few make me as resourceful and as warm and fuzzy deep down inside as the pick punch has. I'm going to start right out with a question. How many times have you been stranded somewhere uh, away from your, your valuable pick pile and lost your guitar pick? The world eats guitar picks, it's a known fact. And what do you do? We've all tried to use pennies, we've all tried quarters, we've all tried folding paper up. Uh, I've even been known to use a bread tie, cut open a soda bottle, cut open a milk jug, all make horrible picks. And those days are over. I believe everybody should have a pick punch in their guitar or bass case. It's that cool, that easy. It takes any piece of flat stock and turns it into a guitar pick. Here's a quick demonstration with me making a pick out of an old library card. Also, mine shipped with some sanding blocks. And that's great because it takes the rough edges off and makes it uh, into that perfect guitar pick. And I also like to file the sides down as you'll see here in just a second. It just makes for a smooth picking, uh, a smooth picking surface. And I also found that if I take just a second and sand on both sides of the pick, it gives me a much better grip and I don't lose it. It's funny, uh, in the, the short time I've had the pick punch, I've gotten pretty good at feeling the kind of cardstock I need. And usually it's old gift cards. Uh, people have gifted me coffee cards or gas cards, things like that. And, you know, when they run out, most of us cut them up or throw them away. I don't do that anymore. I mean, guitar picks are not that expensive, but sometimes especially in the middle of the night you don't want to run out and get more guitar picks when the world eats your last one and I actually lived in a town that was about 90 minutes from a guitar store that's an hour and a half drive through the woods to get guitar picks so this would have been a life saver um, I actually played gigs without picks before because I lost my picks and couldn't go an hour and a half one way to a guitar store to buy more picks I wish I had the pick punch back then so I've gotten pretty good at making my own picks I know the cardstock uh, thickness that I like and I've got my eyes peeled now and you guys that make your own picks, maybe you have a, an image you like to use or you like to sign them and give them away. This thing is perfect for that. You know, you can customize your picks. Um, I'm finding that I'm actually taking old guitar picks now and sanding them the way that I've learned to do it with cardstock because it just feels so much better. And it gives me a much better attack and I can hold the pick a lot better and, and get a much much better guitar play um, they also sell all kinds of pick holders and things like that so please head over to homerecordingweekly.com and type in the pick punch check out my post and there's links and images over there for you and a lot more information and we'll see you next time right here at home recording weekly